Previously, we created this basic range plan, which was inserting some uh, garments, which were previous illustrations, and then scaling them up, arranging them, distributing them, aligning them, adding text, and having that aligned. So now we're ready to start modifying our actual garments. So, when we actually inserted them and placed them into our uh, illustration artboard, click Place, and then we selected the item, make sure that our link button was selected. This, I said that at the time, this is very important, and now you're going to find out why it is so important. So, if I go to my second desktop, we can see we've got the folder open here, and we can see the individual garments. So, we can have a really complex artboard here with 20 or 30 different illustrations, and opening that up and going, let's modify this, can get very busy. So, we're going to modify just the individual file, because remember, we didn't say embed, we placed it, we linked it. So these two files uh, are linked. So I've just opened up the t-shirt, and now we're going to see that any changes I make to this top here appear in the artboard there. So this makes it much easier to make changes to your scheme. Lots of the ways you can modify these um, silhouettes we will cover in later videos, so this is just the very basic ones. If you want to do more advanced techniques, please see the other videos in this playlist. If they're not covered there, leave a comment below and say, please show me how to do whatever. So the first thing to know is that there are two form of selection tools. The black arrow is a normal selection tool, meaning that it selects everything. If I click on the top, you'll see everything is selected. However, if I click on the white arrow, which is the direct selection tool, I can select just the main piece, just the arm, just the arm, just the back piece. It is difficult to see here because um, it's a very thin blue line, but when you're using it, you will see blue lines around what you have selected. So, how do I modify, say, the color of this? Well, first off, we need to have the colors available to use. We need the swatch window. Now, in the Essentials layout, it's by default, it's open. But to make it really easy, I'm going to just drag it from the side out here. Now, currently we've got black, white, and uh, no fill, which is very boring. So I want to have something a bit more exciting. In the lower left of the Swatches panel, I click that, and a whole load of default patterns and default um, colors have become available. You can spend time going through this, but I'm going to just show a very basic one. So art history, and I'm going to choose pop art, because that's quite a nice colorful period. And we've got a whole load of different color schemes related to pop art here. I'm going to choose the classic, which is going to be the yellow, red, and black. So clicking on the folder to the left of our three swatches, you'll see that it appears in our main window here which means it's now ready to use, I can close this menu down. Now, with my Deluxe Selection tool, click on the front of the t-shirt, you can see that the blue lines appeared around, and I can now colour it in in one of two ways. Firstly, I can go to my swatches window and click on the red swatch, and the whole piece is filled with red. Another way I can do it is if I select my left sleeve, hold down shift, and select my right sleeve, so both of them are selected. On the drop-down here, I can just select the yellow. So nice and simple. So let's go through and do this to the rest of the illustration. So hold down Command and Plus, I can zoom in. And then with the scroll wheel, I can just get on the page, scroll down. Select the back piece, click red. I've got a small piece around here, so I'm just gonna hover over Hold down shift, left click, with left with shift still held down, left clicking all the way, select all of these pieces that are kind of hidden. Now click the red and it's filled once more. Command um, or control, depending if you're on Mac or PC, and minus to zoom out, I um, scroll up. Once again, zoom in to the top. I'm going to keep the back piece as red, and I'm going to keep the neckband as yellow. Let's make the tags here also yellow, a little bit of black. 
So I've now coloured this in in a very simple way. If you have more complex swatches of patterns there, you can do the same technique. We'll show you that in a different video. So I've now created my um, coloured in item. As you'll see, the garment here on the main uh, board remains the same. So I have to go File, Save. So it's over the original file. And here, so far, nothing has happened. So why is that? Let's go to Windows, Links. Now, you'll see that there is now a little yellow triangle next to the links. What that means is that that file there is not up to date. In fact, this um, little window has popped up, a message saying some files are missing or modified in the links panel. We just saw that. Would you like to update them? Now, we just updated that file. We know it's been modified because we just did it, and we know it needs to be done. I'm going to click Yes, and there you have it. So if I went through and changed anything in my source files, that makes it correct. So all I've got to do is worry about the arrangement of the garments on the artboard to make a range plan. The actual design of the garments happens separately in individual files.